Toyota has just unveiled two new electric concepts. One is a Land Cruiser EV and the other one is a smaller pickup truck. And there are a couple of issues with this design that we're going to talk about in this video. It feels like Toyota is now the latest victim in this completely removing of any sort of identity in the, in the designs. And that happens with these two as well. And the, specifically the pickup is looking like it's ready to go into production. But before we jump into Photoshop and have a look at the front side and rear of these two concepts, let's have a look at this article from Car and Driver linked down below and let's see what this is all about. So Toyota EPU concept looks like a production ready electric pickup. This four door truck is smaller than a Tacoma but look at the wheelbase here. And this is, you can clearly see that this is an EV just by looking at the wheelbase. I'm going to talk more about that when we have a look at the side view in a minute. It has a yoke style steering wheel and will be shown at the Tokyo Auto Show. So the EPU is a four door crew cab pickup. It features a unibody construction suggesting it could go up against models such as the Ford Maverick and the Hyundai Santa Cruz. And here you can see how this tailgate folds. So you can fold it out and you can fold it back up, meaning that you have a longer bed space here. Pretty cool stuff. Its wheelbase measures 131.9 inches, which is massive for this type of package. Now the interior, as we know, the trend right now for interiors, talked so much about that before, is to have massive displays inside. And that's exactly what's going on in this uh, concept as well. And looking at this interior, this is where I can clearly see that this is, uh, I'm almost 100% sure that this is actually going to go into production and almost exactly like it looks like right now. So this looks significantly different than the previous mid-size electric truck uh, concept uh, Toyota showed a few years ago and that was based on the new Tacoma design. So basically that looked like the new Tacoma with just the grill uh, patched up because you don't need the cooling of course for EVs and I think that would have been a much better idea to go with specifically when it comes to brand identity. The, the brand identity for these cars are just completely lost now. If it wasn't for the Toyota badge up front on both of these concepts, I'm going to show you um, the, the um, pickup truck right here and then the Land Cruiser version, which feels a little bit further away from production than the pickup truck. But let's have a look at what's going on here with this design. So this looks like a typical new modern EV style when you look at this design. That doesn't mean that it's a bad design. For example, we do have a two-tone color. So the roof, the A-pillar and the roof is blacked out. As you can see, we do have some sort of gray color for the body itself. Then we have a lot of chamfers going in this body. We have one chamfer going down here, cutting straight through the front uh, door handle and into the very corner. You can see that it comes back very slightly right here in the corner of the headlight. We also have another chamfer going down here looking pretty static to me. There is not really a lot of automotive emotional design in this uh, truck and that's what happens I guess when for some reason when you tr create new EVs today for some reason they need to look like consumer electronics and not uh, automotive designs and there's a big difference there. Then we have a lot of horizontal lines in the front end and looking at this, this is what I'm talking about, if you look at just the front end design of this truck and you re remove this Toyota logo in the front end, it definitely, it, it, there is no way I can tell you that this is a Toyota just based on the surfacing and even the graphic features. When, when you make new cars like this and you remove all sort of um, pretty much 90% of the automotive feel, the emotional curvatures of a car design and instead bring in the static looking uh, surfaces right here, these chamfers, chamfer up here. Again, it doesn't look bad, but it does look more like a uh, product design instead of an automotive design. So the important thing here, if you're gonna do that with your cars moving forward, moving into this EV era, you need to focus more on the key graphic features, which in this case are the headlights, for example, up here, which again, doesn't look like anything Toyota to me. There's still nothing in the headlights or the taillights for that matter that reminds me that this is a Toyota. Again, it's not a bad looking design, but it's definitely not a Toyota in my opinion. So here we have the side view and the reason why you can see that this is clearly an EV is 
in, in, like in most cases, you just have to look at the wheelbase. And if the wheelbase looks off, that means <laughs> that you're looking at an EV. And in this case, the wheelbase does definitely look off. And the reason for that is because this section right here is pushed too far this way. So it's pushed too far backwards. You can see just how long of a wheelbase this creates. And you do that means that you do have the battery pack right here. And it also means that you can play around a little bit more with the interior space because you can stretch this rear section out further back as well. And if we just play around with this design, for example, let me show you if we can do that. So let's remove all of these things right here and then take this section and I'm just going to push it forward a couple of inches and show you what happens if we do that. So let's copy this and then just slide it forward just a little bit, maybe to this section right here. And now you can clearly see that it looks like more of a normal internal combustion engine, engine proportions. And that is all the difference between the proportions of an EV. So if I go back and forth here, you can see this is EV proportions with the wheel sitting way further back, making it look off in proportions and specifically the rear overhang looks too short for a truck. And then if we turn it into an internal combustion engine, we just move it forward a couple of inches like that. So that's how you can tell by just looking at the proportions and the wheelbase of a, of a vehicle if it is an EV or if it is an internal combustion engine. So looking down here, this is the only grainy photo I could find of the rear end of this because it's going to be unveiled later in, at the Tokyo Auto Show. But again, looking at the rear end design graphics, key graphics, important if you're gonna strip away everything else that has any sort of personality in the car. But I don't think this looks like a Toyota either. So let's just remove this logo. And would you be able to tell by, by just looking at this design that this is a Toyota? This could be a Mitsubishi, it could be a Hyundai, it could be whatever because it lacks any sort of Toyota identity in my opinion. But it does have some cool functions in the tailgate which I showed you. You can fold this out and then you have a different folding section here in the middle so you can do a, like a extend the bed a little bit which is great. The biggest um, benefit with EVs is that you get more space everywhere. You get more space in the interior and in the uh, cabin you also get more space in this case in the bed space thanks, uh, thanks to the skateboard battery that you have going on underneath right here. Now looking at this interior, so this as you can see follow the trend that we have going on right now with the big screens. So it looks like this is one screen sitting behind the other screen. We have a big screen for the infotainment screen, absolutely massive. This is probably their 15 inch screen that they have in the, I think it's a 15 inch that they have in the Tundra for example. But it kind of looks cool with the integration of the drive modes. So you have a, a piece of like a control panel attached, almost glued on to the overlap of these two screens. I've never seen that before. It does it look cool. Yes, it does pretty, it look pretty cool. And you also have a couple, just a few physical buttons down here, which looks like they are rubberized. And this is another reason why I think this is going into production very soon because all the details that you need for a production version uh, are um, available here in this concept. And they don't look that, like they need a lot of changes in order to go into production. And then you have the yoke steering wheel down here as well. Not sure what I think about that. I still haven't driven a uh, car with a yoke steering wheel. So I can't really tell you if this is a good idea or not. But it looks pretty cool and for what it is, two big screens on the dash. Are they nicely integrated in the dash? I wouldn't say so because it's very hard to integrate these big screens in an otherwise very fluid uh, interior design. But I guess that's what we have these days. So here we have the Land Cruiser concept as well. Again, look at the front end here. What is going on with, with the identity? They just took away everything that is Toyota for both of these concepts. We do have a sharp shoulder line right here. As you can see, we have some dips in the C-pillar and this reminds me of, I can't remember the brand right now, but there is Volvo, I think, does something similar to this in the XC40, for example. Then you have a little bit more of a dynamic uh, lower chamfer down here in the body because we don't have a symmetrical feel here. This actually goes in and kind of fades into the rear end while it's very sharp in the front, creating a little bit of movement compared to the very static side piece that we have down here in the um, 
in the pickup truck. But looking at the front end, this is such a huge disappointment to me because we just have a big panel that covers up everything where you can add some personality and identity into this car. You also have some very slim headlights, also a very trendy feature to have these days. I think these headlights look good and you have some, I guess, daytime run lights slash fog lights down there with a skid plate at the bottom. And of course, what gives it away that it is a Toyota is actually that they have the Toyota logo in the front end and that's pretty much it. So let's remove the logo here again. And let me show you, let's just cover this up. And let me know if you, if you think this looks like a Toyota, if you can actually place it within any manufacturer if we just remove the logo like that. I can't because again, key features of Toyota is completely gone here. We do have some nice chamfer in this section and I feel like this area right here with the light bar ends feels very abrupt. I kind of want to have a uh, black trim or a housing for it right here in the corner to uh, separate so, so it doesn't look like the LED just vanishes into the bodywork. Have it something like this instead of having it just crash into the metal piece of the of the rear fender but I do like the line flow that we have going on here it, again it's a pretty decent looking design it just lacks any sort of identity I do like that we have this piece now cutting in through the rear axle and then coming back in the exact same line for the rear bumper right here we'd also have a pretty aggressive diffuser for an EV I'm not sure how capable this is going to be off-road and I'm even not sure if this is going to go into production because we don't even have some interior pieces uh, of the Land Cruiser like we have for the pickup which definitely feels a lot more production ready than this. So overall Toyota is playing around with a bunch of EV designs these days and a couple of years ago they released this um, like I don't know 15 different EV designs and I thought every single one of those looked really cool and you could definitely see that they were Toyotas. Now in this case with these two concepts it's completely different. It's a totally different approach because this is, a, again, it feels more like a consumer electronics with no connection to the history of Toyota. I would much rather see the previous EV concepts that Toyota showed go into production and not these ones. If these go into production, they need to work more on bringing in some Toyota identity into these designs.